What? What the fuck? YouTube. YouTube, what the fuck? I like making short films. It's a hobby of mine I've been doing since I got my very first camera. Me and my sister, when we were younger, used to come up with ridiculous ideas about a whole bunch of things. Ninjas, superheroes, and terrorism. That, the last one was in pretty bad taste. At the time, I used to create my films mostly to entertain, to make people laugh, but the older I got and the more nihilistic and edgy of a boy I became, my films became a little more nuanced with a point and something to say. But recently going back to all my cringy videos, I realized something. All of them had a point. They all had something to say, even the ones with me as a terrorist. This film here was conceived around the time of the Afghan war, and after hearing my parents talk about it, my dumb kid brain thought how worldly and smart of a social commentary it would be to have a villain with a beard who looked like Osama Bin Laden. The point I'm trying to make here is, they were all getting at something, they were all saying something I thought subconsciously or consciously at the time, as dumb as it was. So that got me thinking, once something leaves the mind of the creator, is that piece of art always biased and politicized from someone or some people's point of view? So in this video I'm going to try my best to argue that art is okay to be political, unaware or aware, cognitively it really doesn't matter. Politicized art doesn't matter as long as it's emotionally compelling at the end of the day. So politics and art and where does it stem for? What exactly am I talking about? What do I mean when art is political? There's been a lot of discourse around this subject of politics and art due to the fact that currently a lot of shows, games and films are under a lot of scrutiny because there's been a lot of instances of changing someone's previous vision to better suit an agenda. In my personal opinion, once art ceases to be sincere, it diminishes the experience for me. Most recent example of a piece of entertainment I actually cared about that I think of which has become politicized is the most recent season of Doctor Who, series 11. Let me quickly preface this discussion by saying my view on this Doctor and this season is going to be a bit tainted due to the fact that this show is near and dear to my heart and it might be something I could discuss at length in the future. But yes, in short, I felt it was misguided and a lot less sincere, just so it could appeal to a certain demographic of very loud, outspoken fans by appealing to some false sense of wokeness. The whole thing sparked the massive mess which just left a bad taste in everyone's mouth and also let me down a lot as well. Essentially what happened was they changed a predominantly male character to a female one. This is explained within the context of the show and that's what the Doctor can do as a character but I thought it was a bit ham-fisted. I had high hopes for Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor because I honestly thought she would have been a great choice because she's seen her in so many things and she's a really cool person. But man, the writing did not have any caveats to it. So the obvious culprits here are third wave feminism, SJWs, and supposedly PC culture going too far as a whole. But with that said, I feel like the issue is a little bit more nuanced than that. Also, not to say I endorse those things I said previously, I just want to address that because some people made some assumptions on my political alignment due to my why I don't like anime fan service video. Spit out that feminist Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, that was oh, weird. What I'm getting at here is art in the current political landscape is being altered to shift a certain political ideology. Not just critiquing the left here, but also there have been instances where conservative media has been tainted by its politicized opinion. I personally don't see an issue with that either way as long as it's enjoyable, because I think all art has a point to make anyway. I say create the art you want to create, if, if that be it a piece of entertainment to push an agenda. As long as it's sincere and good, what does it really matter at the end of the day? As long as the agenda you're pushing is a positive one rather than one built on pushing forward a bad message. A good example of a, of a studio pushing their agenda in a positive light is the studio Naughty Dog, creators of the Uncharted series. They've been very outspoken with their goal of creating more inclusive and diverse narratives. I love their games, they're fucking so good. Characters like Chloe, Ellie, Nadine are really good examples of strong independent women characters without coming off insincere and hand-fisted. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the critical and commercial disaster that was the female Ghostbusters, and I personally was just indifferent and ignored the whole fiasco. But if you saw the whole marketing and completely hated the ordeal, I get it. I don't like Melissa McCarthy as much as the next bloke, it's, it's 
fair enough. Anyway, bring it back to the central question of this video, is art always political? After doing some googling on the topic, here's the conclusions I came to. I started off by defining what art means and what defines something as political. There's a famous political scientist named David Easton and I read up on his works because he is probably the most best to define this topic. He is a much smarter individual than I and I recommend reading up or listening to his stuff. He once defined politics as the authoritative allocation of values for society. In my own words, a certain rule set and belief system that people living in a society have to adhere to due to law or social pressure. Because, you know, we live in a society. Getting back to David Easton here, he makes the point that the implication is politics is not a socially passive system. It clearly joins the line authoritatively between what is good and what is bad, what is socially acceptable and what leads to societal punishment. It also lays out labels for the things of worth and what has intrinsic value. The gist of it is, one way or another, politics is implicit in allocating collective values. So, so that's politics. So what's art? Art is the expression and application of human creative skill and imagination. Typically a visual form such as a painting, sculpture, or yeah, you've all heard this before, we all know what art is. When a photographer takes an arty photo or something, they are creating value by expressing their own subject's interpretation of beauty to elicit an emotional reaction. When an actor like Christian Bale portrays a hero like Batman, he is showing us what it means to be a pillar of justice. When a singer like Billie Eilish sings about her broken heart and endless passion and existential fear of being left behind, she's expressing to us what she thinks is good and bad and correct in her mental state. Every form of art raises the value that we expect her to accept or reject as we appreciate the art for ourselves. So viewing art and politics from this perspective, yes, art is political. Concluding this, I'm saying whether you do or do not enjoy politicized art doesn't make you a bad person either way. We're all individuals and we're drawn to what we like. That's okay. Whatever perspective we have on the matter is alright. Eventually, we're all gonna die anyway and none of this matters and the ice caps are gonna melt and everyone's house is gonna be flooded by the ocean, so no big deal in the end of the thing. No matter what happens in the end, whether politicized art is political or not, everyone just needs to chill and it's all good. But this is my thoughts. 